Good evening, YouTube, and welcome to the Tune Review. Tonight, it is the match preview of Tottenham against Newcastle United, which, of course, takes place on Sunday afternoon at 4.30 at the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, where, by the way, Newcastle United are unbeaten uh, in the two games that they've played there so far, with one drawn, one victory. Um, let's hope it's another victory. Uh, Danielle is back with us uh, for tonight after a crazy work schedule and mm -hmm. crazy sort of milkman starts to the morning. Um, mm -hmm. You're probably beating the birds and the milkman the times you've got to get up for work. But, yeah, uh, I beat everyone. I'm first indeed, up. Indeed. Indeed. Are you looking forward <laughs> to the game on Sunday? It's been a while, hasn't it? Just I feel like we haven't yeah. been sat doing a preview for ages, but yeah, I, uh -huh. I really am. I'm looking forward to seeing how how well they've got on in Dubai and yeah. looking forward to kick-starting the last run of the season, really, with a win, hopefully. Yeah. Um, Alex, uh, Bruno was certainly on form for Brazil uh, the other night. I mean, his goal was just, I mean, brilliantly, brilliantly scored. And, of course, gets an assist as well. Um, and he's he's forcing his way into the starting lineup for Brazil now. So that can only benefit us. Yeah, well, he should be in the starting lineup anyway. There's no, there's no reason Fred should be on the pitch ahead of Casemiro, Fabinho, and yeah. Bruno. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, if Fred, Fred is a good, good player, but he's not better than those three. Um, so no, he played excellent. He, he combined very well with his best mate Paqueta, and it, it looked there was a lot of magic going on. There was uh, he's not the only one with a magic hat in that Brazil side. They're all very, very. Very very skillful. Oh, it's, a, it's, it's a fantastic lovely to side. watch. Yeah, Fab. I mean they 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 have to be one of the favourites for the World Cup. Um, they really do. Yeah. In my it even opinion. makes Richarlison look great. So that just shows how good the players <laughs> are behind him. Yeah, I mean that's saying something as well. To be fair, uh, when we're talking about Richarlison. Uh, however, you know it it is a big big game for for Newcastle. Um, you know what well, I think. You know they're going to concentrate a lot on the next three home games. But as we know, Eddie Howe, uh, he doesn't think a lot about the next games. He, he sort of focuses on the one game at a time, which he's going to do, um, you know, this week. I'm very intrigued as to see what he says in his press conference tomorrow about who's fit and who's not. Uh, or what he who, doesn't say. Or what he doesn't say <laughs> more. Than, yeah, I mean, it's becoming more interesting now as to what mm -hmm. Eddie Howe doesn't say in his press mm -hmm. conferences as to what he does. So it's going to be interesting. Um but, Danielle, do you think, I mean, obviously with Bruno being away, um, is he going to start? Uh, because it, will he revert to his original three of Shelby, uh, Willock and, of course, uh, Joe Linton? Or, you know, because we could say the same about Chris Wood, because uh, Chris Wood's been away. Uh, you know, he's been in, as we know, he's been in Qatar. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Roy's put loads of pictures on the Facebook group about, you know, <laughs> getting photographed with him Lesson. and it's his new best mate um <laughs> it was fantastic to see to be honest and Chris Wood you know we'll come on to him in a minute he has been scoring goals but you know is he gonna go with Bruno for me I think he has to I right. think Bruno has to go straight in but I've struggled I've really struggled this week because I don't know who's fit who's not mm -hmm. I've had like a different um 
back four. I've had like I don't know who's gonna go in midfield. Is Chris mm. Wood gonna play? Is he gonna play Dwight Gale? Steady on. I mean, I watched the fan forum when I, at lunch the other day, and I thought yeah. I, I, I seen that you've had that topic discussed as to will Dwight Gale go instead of Chris Wood. But it's been really difficult this week. But I think for me, Bruno has to start. Yeah. Uh, well, Gary, Gary says here on the subject of the match at the weekend, I'm wondering if Joel Linton is still injured. Mm-hmm. Saw the training pitch today uh, and didn't see him in any of the training matches, just like jogging, any info. Mm. Um, again, this is what we're talking about, Gary, to be honest. You know, we don't know who's fit and who's not until, well, Eddie will kind of give a, a sort of overall picture of things, but he will not tell us who is going to start and who is not <laughs> on Sunday because he, he will simply not give that information to any mm-hmm. of us. Um, and uh, you know, that, that's fine, I don't mind that at all. Um, I know some people have come out and said, Oh, uh, Eddie Howe should tell us who's playing and who's not playing, and I think that's why should he? Uh, I don't get that at all. Um, but Alex, I mean, you know, with Joe Linton, we know he's been struggling a, a, a while, but um, yes, there's been training photos of him, you know, jogging and stuff, but again, you know, those training photos don't give much away, do they, as to, as to how fit he is. Mm, he's in the videos. Um, so they released on the official YouTube channel the like the Sean Longstaff mic'd up thing. Yeah. Uh, and jo- and mm-hmm. Joe Linton is sweating his ass off in that. They're all working their butts off in training. It wasn't just like jogging. He was doing a lot of intense drills. Um, so uh, maybe the pitches were deceiving, but in the video he looked he looked like he was doing quite hard work. So. Um, in terms of the training matches, you, you could be right. I, I don't, I can't recall exactly, but um, it'd be weird if he doesn't play. It's not been, it's not seemed yeah. to have come up anywhere. Could could be wrong, but I, I, I think he'll come straight back in. I think he's had, I think he's had some rest, and then he's slowly been, you know, brought back into yeah. training properly. I think they're just trying to nurse him through to the rest of the season, and then they'll give him time off. Uh, or mm-hmm. And possibly, we've discussed, you know, maybe it's going to need surgery. He's not gone into detail about what really the problem is. So, Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it, it will be interesting. It, it, it will be very interesting to see. Uh, and I know, um, I think Joel Linton, for me, he will start. He is fit. I, I've got no doubt about that. I don't think there's, uh, there's a worry for me. I think the break came at exactly the right time, Danielle, for, for mm-hmm. Joel Linton, just to have that little bit of a rest, uh, just to chill out a bit and then, you know, go on this warm weather training, which has probably done them all the world of good, those of them that were there, of course, and not on international duty. Um, I think it would have done them the world of good. Yeah, definitely. I think it was seen from the Everton game. It wasn't just Joel Linton that was struggling. There was others. Ryan Fraser was one. Um, and, of course, we want to see Saint back um, and hopefully he's going to come on and really... Um, kind of set his stall out for the rest of the season and hopefully bang us a few goals in. Um, but yeah, it, it, it was just, a, I'm, I'm so glad I came when it did because mm. I think at that Everton game, and we were playing well until the, the kind of protest and then after that we fell apart. But yeah, I think we were Yeah, sad. you're right. I mean, we, you know, Fred West's love child kind of spoiled the whole thing for us. I think it, it was... Uh, mm-hmm. Without a doubt, we were on top. Well, not on top, but we were playing we're to a, it a go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were we were playing to a higher a higher standard than we did after yeah. that. But uh, never mind. Um, howdy, Paul. Hope you're feeling better. It's a beautiful day here in Norkel. Uh, can't wait for the match. Tune tune. Uh, Julie says, if you haven't subscribed, please consider joining the fam. Uh, just forty one away from ten k, wow. guys. When we went live, forty one. Um, not far away at all. Alex is dreading it, of course, because. <laughs> Uh, he is going <laughs> hairless on his chinny chin chin um, and playing Fog of the Time. So uh, we're, we're looking forward to that. Um, look, look, look at him. He just he doesn't give anything away, does he? Is to yeah. like, I, I mean, Alex is a good poker player. Damn right, mm-hmm. damn right. Mm-hmm. Nothing is given away. No, that's why we love him, though. That's why we love him. <laughs> um, Toon TV says hoping for a two-one win to the Toon. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I hope so. Uh, Joe Linton scored his first goal for us against Spurs. Incoming big Joe Hattrick. Um, will that give him a bit of confidence knowing that he scored there, Alex? Does that does do you think that works with players knowing that they've they've scored on certain grounds so they're going to with that little bit more confident? Yeah, I think he'll be 
doubly, if not triply, confident. He scored against this team specifically. He knows what it's like to put it in the back of the net in, you know, against that keeper, against that shirt. And he scored in the friendly game. And he's had a little bit of time off. He's back into training. He's got the confidence from his mid midfield performances. He's going to be wanting to try and boss that midfield again. It's it's probably more exciting than it is. Um, this is what it probably is for a lot of the players now. now. Now we've picked up more points than we expected from sort of the last couple of months. They can go in with a bit of excitement mm. and just trying to really push. Um, it's not as much. Uh, so we're not going in with as many nerves. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping he just go just goes out there and just just tries to to put a good shift in and try maybe try some new things, maybe try and be a bit more offensive, see if he can sort them jelly legs out when he gets near the box. Um, you know, his head has been on point as well. That's definitely an area Spurs yeah. can be got at. So if he yeah. can, um, yeah, I'm excited for Joe Linton to have a good game. Definitely. Um, and by the way, guys, in about 10 minutes, we'll be doing the draw for the uh, little Bobby Robson magazine book Ooh. kind of thing for the members. Um, so that will be done in about 10 minutes time. So if you are a member of the tune review, stay tuned for that. And uh, there is going to be a lot more giveaways on the channel. Um, me and Susan have been talking about it earlier tonight. Um, we are very close to getting the uh, mugs sorted. Um, and uh, I've had, well, I've seen hoodies, etc., and the designs are fantastic. So it is in the pipeline. Um, I am working on a shop now where things are going to be available to pre-order um, just so we know how many to get in. So it's going to be very, very interesting. Uh, Danielle, you'll get your, your, you know, your Queen Cup and all that, you know what I mean, for, for mods. And Can't Alex. wait. I just I just want to get Alex one with just a beard. You know, just just the, 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 just those sunglasses. What about Susan's... a hatch and egg? Can we get him on or with a hatch, hatch and egg? egg on? Well, mm -hmm. a hatch and egg on the other side and just his, his sunglasses <laughs> with the dollar signs and a beard on the other side. <laughs> It would be amazing. I'm muted. Yeah, it's got to be a hatch and egg with Elliot Anderson like stepping out of the egg. Indeed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Quality. Uh, Will says, uh, hi, Alex. What's your take on Willock moving forward? Uh, performance only picked up following competition from January arrivals. Typical Arsenal softy with limited skills and lacked character, he says. Um, can I just say one thing on um, Joe Willock? He has admitted that he was homesick. Um earlier on in the season, which is mm. which is very interesting. Um, because I know we, we used to say, oh, how can you get homesick? It's just London. But, you know, young kid moving away from his family and all that, I can understand that. So Absolutely. Um, it seems to have uh, settled down now. He seems to have, uh, you know, found his place, if you like. And, and, and it's kind of coincided with better performances, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, so that's I go away with work for a week and I get homesick. So well, you get I homesick can't... if you leave crummy. Um <sighs> <laughs> Alex, I mean, what, what do you reckon about that? I mean, I think that's a little bit sort of. I know he's not saying it, but he's kind of he's, he's putting it in a question there. Typical Arsenal softy, limited yeah. skills and lacks character. I mean, I mean, I'm not there sure. was a there was a bunch of them that came through with Willock, Emil Smith Rowe, and um, who's the other one? There's about four or five of them that came through at the same time, and they were tried in midfield and attacking midfield. They were tried in wing back, full back. They were tried all across the pitch because they got good. They, they, they played good football um, and for Willock I don't think anybody was sure where he was supposed to be playing he just had good characteristics um, and I don't think it's about players it's about Eddie Howe and the backroom staff or it's a good management team they're good coaches and they figured out where his best position is based yeah. on his characteristics and they've improved his confidence Mm -hmm. um, as a box to box with a bit more license to sort of open his open his legs a little bit and and drive mm -hmm. forward um, they're disco he's discovering his form because um, ultimately when he was coming on as a sub last season, it was when the rest of the, the rest of the, the whole pitch was knackered and he had 15 yeah. minutes of opening his legs and, and doing very well. Um, it just required good coaching. I think there's definitely a good player in there. Definitely worth his price tag. He's still very young. Even if we buy big in the summer, there's no reason he can't be a backup to learn the position. He's, mm. he's a good player. Definitely. Yeah. If you know, He's fine. He's fine. I think he was <laughs> suffering a lot, like you said, from home. So he was, he was what, 21 when he came to us? Yeah. Possibly 22. Yeah. Coming into the toxic atmosphere we had at the beginning of the Absolutely. season. I mean, anybody mm -hmm. would be homesick. That was horrible. Um, yeah, it wasn't exactly up a comfortable environment, Bruce. was it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, you know, Steve Bruce doesn't mm. exactly give you the. Um, 
No. The impression that he was but a But he's come out and done interviews. He came out and did interviews before he improved, which is what I like to see. He's trying, yeah, he he's got dialogue, and mm-hmm. he's working hard. It's great. And he's, um, it's good, good work from him. Yeah, without a doubt. Uh, Chris says, uh, hi, all. I take it no more videos coming while it's in James's park with all that's happened with Adam. Look, I, I don't... Uh, I don't film anyway. I don't no. film the game when I'm there. I, 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 you know, for me, I'm going in there as a fan, and I, I'm not going to, mm-hmm. you know, video the game anyway. I, I talk about the game afterwards outside the ground, which is fine. You know, no, you're not allowed, you're perfectly well allowed to do that. Public property, isn't it? Yeah, sometimes? but but inside the ground, I can under, you know, it's it, it's very very different. And mm-hmm. um, it was a good video from Adam actually stipulating what you can and can't do. He's done a lot of research on it. He's asked some questions. Um, so for me, it was a I felt good a bit video. sad for him. Did you? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, because it, 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 mm-hmm. look with Adam, um, you know, it, 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 it's it's just he loves doing that. that that's his thing. Does. Going to the mm-hmm. matches and, and filming the goals and and putting them on on straight away so people can see it. Now, mm-hmm. I know if there's Premier League rules, fair enough. Um, you know that that's it, it's not Newcastle United. That's Premier League stipulations because of you know copyright and stuff like that. Mm. But what I don't understand is the under twenty threes. Um, you know, I, I think f- for me, Adam does a fantastic job putting the under 23s and the ladies team on the map because not many of us, including myself, cover the ladies team. And we should, in all fairness, we should do that. So Adam does a wonderful job doing that. And I, I'm, mm-hmm. I, so for me, it's a little bit sad that, you know, he's, he's, he's going to be stopped from doing that inside St. James's Park because when the ladies team go there, obviously mm-hmm. he won't be able to do it. Because no. it's inside the ground, and and that for me is a historic day for the ladies' team because they've never played at St James's Park. Mm-hmm. It's the first time that they've ever done it. So, Adam is one of the podcasters that pushes the ladies' team and gives yeah. them a lot of airtime. And it seems a bit sad that he's not going to be allowed to show that historic event on his channel because no. he should be able to. And, and he's I'm a good, sure the, he's a good lad, Adam. And oh, you know you, what? Well, I, you know, I've been mates with Adam a long time, and he's you know, just trying to make a living together, and exactly he and that he loves, and but he loves know. it. Um, mm-hmm. Now, I'm not sure what's going to happen further down the line because he'll come back stronger. I'm standing, at, but what I don't get is I'm standing at Newcastle games, and you know the the players come on the pitch, or Newcastle get a corner or a free kick. There's hundreds of mobile phones come out and are filming it. It, just in case. There is a goal. And some mm-hmm. people use it for their own stuff. Some people will put it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever it may be. But is that not the same thing? Is it so, because he's, he's monetizing it, though? Is it well, maybe. So I think that's the it? thing. That, that could be what, what the issue is. There could be a monetization will play a big a part shame. in that. Um, and it is a shame. But I really do think that... Um, Maybe you know Newcastle United as a club should maybe reach out to Adam and say, look, you know, we um, we'd love you to continue to do your work on the ladies team because it is giving them, uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh, I don't know, like uh, bringing them to the forefront, if you like, instead of yeah. just the men's football, the under twenty threes. He's given, he's putting them on the map, um, and uh, you know, he said in his video that he's, um, you know, he's going to concentrate more on the women's team now. So. Mm-hmm. Um, fair play to him if that's what he wants to do. Um, I just think there can be, you know, certainly um, not just with Adam, but all of us, you know, we need to know where we stand with doing certain things because obviously, um, you know, podcasting and YouTube is now a job. Social media is now a job. You know, whether people like it or not, that's fact of the matter. It is. Uh, I do it as a job now, um, you know, but... You know, I got lucky because I didn't. Well, I class it as a job. It's not really classed as a job, but you know what I mean. Because I, you work in my you work, put a lot of work into it. Like I a do, job. I do, and it, it, you know, it, it takes up a lot of my time during the day to do videos, edit them, mm-hmm. process them, set up the live shows, all that kind of thing. But I love it, and so does Adam, and so does everybody else that does it. You know, Lee Lawler puts a lot of time into Newcastle fans TV. Um, yeah. You know, we all do, and mm-hmm. um, you know. We just need to know, I think, a little bit about where where we all stand on on what goes on because I think the football authorities as well need to realise that you know podcasting is a thing now. Um, you know, YouTube is is a big big thing. People watch more of YouTube now, I believe, than than actual TV um, because there's more entertainment on there. I certainly do. I get more entertainment out of YouTube than I do on what's on TV. I barely watch TV now. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, it'd be interesting to see what happens in the future, but um, mm-hmm. I'm sure Adam will work out a, a schedule for yeah. himself and be able to mm-hmm. work something else out and he'll keep doing what he loves doing. But uh, and we've uh, all got your hats back. Off to him. Exactly. We have. 
um, mm-hmm. we're all supporting each other, so that's that mm-hmm. that will just continue. Um, anyway, uh, Matthew says Joe Linton was definitely in training matches. Uh, Reason says uh, we have to start Bruno. Uh, we need to start making him part of the eleven as he should be. Mm-hmm. Uh, Big Joe is fit. Uh, Joe Linton was training uh, in Mike Dub training session. Yeah, as mm-hmm. Alex has just said, uh, got to go with the Jolly Trinity for me. Uh, the Jolly Trinity. All oh, right, mm-hmm. the Jolly Trinity. Wow. Okay, John. Big Joe, 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 Joe and John. Joe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's confusing. Uh, Bonnie with Bruno's to start for me. Definitely says Chris. Uh, yeah, I, I think he's got to. But uh, it's Bruno? a shame in a way, Alex, to break up that three, isn't it? Mm-hmm. No. Um, I don't mind Bruno starting. It's, it's well, no, I know, I know. Shame. But, yeah, um, you just call him Brunjo. 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 Mm-hmm. I mean, it just depends on the formation. We could, in theory, fit all of them in. It depends what he wants to do. Um, yeah, that's the thing. With your, it? you know, yeah. with your, with your diamond suggestion from a few weeks ago, I, pro- I probably wouldn't go that way. But um, if he, if if Eddie Howe wants to be consistent with his method of choosing players, then Shelby's got to sit out. Yeah, because Bruno came in, has done a good job. Even though we didn't beat Everton, Bruno was outstanding in the middle of the park. Can't drop him for that. Um, judging on on how 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 has has picked out all of how the how players how? How, how? since he's come in. Oh, now Brown how? Then <laughs> Shelby unfortunately missed a game, but has to. That's what he did it with Lascelles. He's done it with everybody. If they've missed a match and somebody's come in and done well, they stay mm. in the team. That's what that's what he's been doing. So yeah, I, I can't. The the only the only way I could see it happening is if we have a lack of leaders on the pitch, and he might want to put Shelby back in because of the lack of leaders. Um, if Shah's out, if we if we're missing potentially Shah, um, well, no, because then Lascelles would come back in, wouldn't he? Yeah. So mm, um, maybe I, I I'm ninety five percent sure it will be Bruno unless he U turns for uh-huh. the system. It depends also on Joe Linton. If Joe Linton isn't quite ready and he wants to give him a little bit more time, the extra week maybe. Then mm-hmm. we could see Bruno, Shelby, and Willock. Willock. Um, yeah. We might see we might see Joe Linton set out. So you never know. So yeah. all in all, it's been fun trying to forecast for teams this week, hasn't it? And, and especially because yeah. Longstaff was in the mic up. Is that a hint? Is Sean going to be involved? Well, uh, yeah, we did say that, knows. but it'd be very interesting. Uh, the Tune Review Fan Club, thank you very much for your four pound forty nine super chat. Um, uh, quote saying, "Hope you all had a nice day and nice evening. Let's hope the weather stays predictable." i.e. no random sun, a few good days of sun. Uh, yeah, I, I think mm-hmm. I would prefer that than just mm-hmm. a one-off. You know, I, I remember sort of a, a few years ago, we used to have a day of sunshine. You used to say, right, there's summer come and gone. <laughs> um, and anyway, I just want to read out um, a, a little message I got earlier on on uh, one of the YouTube uh, one of the YouTube videos comments. Uh, it's a lovely message, and um, uh, it's from Alan Fothergill, who he is a new member of the channel as well. Um, and uh, he's been following me since I started the channel. Um, so oh, that's why that's I'm nice. reading this out, because it was a really nice message. Um, and uh, he said, basically, I'll read it out. He says, you are very professional now, Paul. I have followed your uh, channel since the very start. And the fact that I was prepared to pay to watch you, if you knew me, speaks volumes. I train teachers and look for people who can hold an audience. Uh, I wish I could get you to change your job. If you worked in those schools in the Newcastle area, you would shine, I have no doubt. Uh, someone is going to come in with a big offer if you keep improving the way you have. Well done. You should be very satisfied. And I know Dave is extremely proud of you. Oh, really, amazing. really lovely, wasn't it? And like, so it, that, true that as kinda, well. It just makes your day when you get something as nice as that, you know, just to make sure you, you're still doing things right or whatever. And um, But it's not just me. It's you guys as well and, and the mods and everyone else who, who, you know, the subscribers and everybody who's part of the channel. That, you know, that kind of message is for everybody. It's it's not just me um, because, you know, I couldn't get where I am without you guys or without the mods uh, and everyone and, and the subscribers as well. So um, it's it's a massive big family like we keep saying. Um, and, and that's the kind of messages that, that really do give us a lift, um, you know, just to, to say, yep, yeah, you're still doing things right. Keep doing what you're doing. So um, we will. Uh, Mark says it's my birthday Sunday, so it'll be a nice present if we beat Spurs. Uh, will be a hard game, though. Bruno should therefore start. Uh, Steven says, uh, Paul, you are great. Tune, tune. Thank you very much. Um, Unknown Shadow. Hope Maxi doesn't leave in the summer. I'd be bro- I'd be heartbroken. Uh, well, uh, who knows? Uh, Chloe, good evening. Uh, can you remember when we beat Spurs 2-1? Um, I got the goals right near the end. Shua Mikro springs to mind. 
Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. Um, I know we've had some some really good results against Spurs in the past, um, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping for another one. Uh, right, before we go on, we are going to do the draw for the Bobby Robson. Uh, as I say, it's just a little sort of magazine, um, but we are going to start giving um, stuff away to the members uh, and the non-members. We will also do you know draws for everybody as well as just members, but this is a members draw tonight. Um, you're all in the hat. Uh, you're all numbered. Uh, so I am now going to randomly generate a number and give away the, the first ever members winner on the channel. Here we go. Press the button. I'm doing this on my iPhone, by the way, because I'm, you know, multitasking and all that. 37. 37. So who is 37? Let me have a look on my little database of goody goodies. Stephanie Burt, you are Woo! the winner of the first ever Members Prize. Uh, right, Steph, what I need you to do is uh, get my email address uh, from the description. Uh, it's just pd.toonreview at gmail.com. And I need you to email me your address, please. And I will get that off to you as soon as possible. Uh, and you can get reading about... Uh, so, Bobby, um, there is a, another book to be given away soon, uh, which uh, I'm going to quickly read it myself, and then uh, it will be given away as well. And um, also, also, there may well be match tickets towards the back end of the season, so just Ooh. keep your eyes open for that one. But lots of stuff, lots of stuff to give away. But well done, Steph. Um, if you can email me your address, please, I will get that off to you. Congratulations. Um, Joe says, uh, I feel a tad guilty for asking Alex to play Fog on the time. However, it seems to have grown legs, so may as well let it carry on. Yes, Joe was the first one to actually uh, suggest that. Uh, so it's it's all his fault. So um, if you want to blame anybody, Alex, there is your man to blame. I already um, feels guilty. That's fine. He does. He does. Uh ASM looked fitting training, which is great. Uh, any news on Shah? I'm dreading the Lascelles return. Uh, I haven't heard anything. Um, but again, you know, he could be asked. But is he going to give an answer, Danielle? No, probably not. He'll give a riddle. And then we'll, we'll be exactly the same this time tomorrow night going, got no idea what's happening on Sunday. And then yeah. come half three on Sunday, we'll get the team sheet and it'll be like, wow, whichever way it goes. Um, I think that's just the, the Eddie Howe way. Yeah. Um, Mike says, would it be worrying if we let another late goal, considering it's happened the last two games and it was a concern before the Eddie Howe era? Uh, bad habits creeping in or tiredness of fixtures? Well, I'm pretty sure it was tiredness. Um, yeah. Was that a feature of his Bournemouth team? Was it late goals? I didn't really I'll have to go and have a look at that. Um, I think, well, I think what he's talking about is is, is before the break. Um, it was a yeah. concern well, before was a the Eddie Howe reign as well with, under Steve Bruce, but that was down to the the manager was a knobhead. Um, so th that was down to him. Um, this time around, I'm, I'm sure it was just tiredness. Um, but I wouldn't worry too much, Mike. Uh, you know, I think we'll be switched on on Sunday. I'm not saying we're going to get a result on Sunday, by the way. I'm just saying I think we'll give a lot better account of ourselves than what we did Um after that stupid uh, Fred West came on the pitch at Everton. Uh, Chloe says, can you remember when we beat Spurs one? Yeah, I, I'm trying to remember it. Uh, Thomas says, uh, Putin didn't turn off me gas, just had to reset the system. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Thomas, Thomas was in the, in the mods chat before and said his gas had gone off and he thought it was down to Putin, <laughs> but it, it's his bloody boiler. Uh, Love you, Thomas. <laughs> so you've had a bit of a Sinclair there, Thomas, buddy. Um, so I think you need to take your face for a shit right now. Um, <laughs> even though, you, you know, uh, I've just noticed as well, you know, he's not a member of this channel. Disgrace. Hmm. Anyway, I uh, actually think that was the season we went down, says Chloe. I, 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 I think you're right. Uh, George is hoping for something at the weekend and three points against Wolves on Friday night. How are the lads? Um, yeah. Wolves is going to be an interesting game, but obviously we'll come on to that next week. Um, we need to concentrate on Spurs at the minute. Um, Chris Wood, Alex. Now, we know how I feel about him, uh, how a lot of fans feel about him, but he's been away with New Zealand. He scored a few goals. Now, you, you know, you, yes, you can say, well, you know, he was playing against Grapefruit United and or whoever it was, you know, over in the Caribbean and um, you know, the Solomon Islands, which 
you know, make soil, you know, or something like that. But he can only score with what's put in front of him, to be honest. And if he has, will that give him enough confidence to bring it to his Premier League form? Yeah, hopefully. He's, hopefully he's had a bit of a break. Um, Less sorry, pressure. Alex, by the way, Thomas Nielsen has just become a member of the channel. <laughs> <laughs> pressure. Oh, he's a crackpot, man. I love him. Uh, I come on, carry on, Alex. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is this is ripe for the taking for him again, <laughs> as it should have been against Everton. Um, the weaknesses of Tottenham. Tottenham have been doing exceptional recently, but... Um, they, they did concede to West Ham, even though they, they won 3-1. Um, and the goal that they conceded was from a set piece, was from being a little bit sloppy in the box. And their, their, their loss, obviously they lost to Middlesbrough, but their loss in the league before that was to Burnley, which was, was um, a set piece, which Ben Mee scored. Um, so it's the, it's the set pieces, corners and free kicks. Wood's got to be there because their centre-backs are, are definitely there to be, to be got at with... Um, yeah. Eric Dyer and Davies and there, there's um, there's the potential for Burn and Wood to do things definitely at the weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, Wood's had a bit of a break. He's played some slightly easier fixtures. He scored. He should be confident. We want we want to see some. Um, I want to see a better Chris Wood because there were glimpses of it uh, a few weeks ago where he was turning better. He was releasing people with passes. Uh, I want to see that Chris Wood back because. There is an OK player in there, and I want to see that OK player. You know, this is all we demand. We don't want 10 goals a season from him necessarily. We just want him to turn mm-hmm. up in some capacity. So, Indeed. yeah, that's what we want to see. Indeed. Um, Mike says, uh, Alex, can you stop saying when he opens up his legs, he keeps visualising something else? Um, I was going to put in and say something when you were going on about <laughs> opening up his legs, but I'd get wrong off Danielle. Yes, um, he would. So uh, well, his, I didn't his even stride. Say I, I sort of brushed over. Um, <laughs> but Mike, thank you his for bringing gate. that up. <laughs> uh, shouldn't show live games, says Ronald. He doesn't show the games. He just shows the goals, which I think shows uh, clips you know, of them. I can understand. Like I say, I understand the Premier League stuff, but the, the ladies' game and and things like that, I think, is is, is differently. Uh, Carl says, uh, realistically, we should be averaging a point a game, which would leave us finishing somewhere similar to last season. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good shout. Um, Joe Willick should be in the midfield alongside Bruno and Joe Linton, which is what you said, Alex. So, yeah, um, yeah. well, I think he needs a bit more, um, a little bit less responsibility. Mm-hmm. He, he does need to be a bit more forward because if you remember when we were trying to play him in a two on the left side of the two, he was just hopeless. Um, but what he's been given a bit more license as a box to box on the right side. And he's, yeah, he needs, you got, it's a bit like Maxi. You've got to take some responsibility away from him and just say, just mm. do, do your thing, go win the ball, pass nicely, drive with the ball. Um, just let him do what he's good at. And he's all right. Yeah. If you start giving him too much responsibility in the midfield, he has a bit of a, bit of a nightmare. So he's still a very raw player, but you know, he's a young lad. So that's what you're going to get. I mean, look, it, it, I, I I just find it very difficult to believe that he's going to drop John Joe Shelby. Um, I, I I don't know why. Um, just what he said about John Joe in the past, and given John Joe's uh, performances, uh, you know, I, I just find it difficult that he's going to drop him, Daniel. I, I can't see it. I can remember everyone in, when we played Everton screaming for John Joe Shelby that we're missing. We need him back asap. Yeah. Um, I just don't I know. did say like... that after the Everton game. I thought we missed him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't know which one. Honestly, I've been so confused going back and forward with my team. I still haven't got a team. I'm just going to say what I think um, at the end of the show. But um, yeah, it's a debate. It's a good one. I mean, thank the Lord that we're in this position. And obviously, going forward, we're only going to get stronger. Um, but I don't know which way it's going to go. Joel Linton, Alex... Is it Joel Linton, Shelby, Bruno? Which one? Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, they didn't. Joel Linton and Willock both had sub poor game, a subpar games, didn't they? So that might be his justification for bringing Shelby back in. But again, I don't feel like it was poor performances because they were poor. I feel like they were just ill and sick mm-hmm. and coming knackered. half injured, knackered. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to blame Willock and Joe Linton. It was, no. it was this context to it. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to see, he's tinkered a little bit with Bruno and Shelby next to each other. I, I'd like to see a, a four, two, three, one or something interesting with, Maybe Joe Linton in front or Willock. It depends on on injuries. I'd like to see him in a double pivot and see how they get on. Shelby with a little partner to protect him so he can do his long balls. Um, be interesting. 
Uh, Matthew says Bruno Shelby and Joe Linton in midfield, I think, on Sunday. So mm-hmm. he's leaving Willock out. Um, we are all one big family, says Mark. Indeed, we are. Yes, we That's are. exactly how we look at it. Uh, Leo says, All right, lads. Uh, last well, maybe this is for the lads. Just say, lads. Um, I need some advice. <laughs> My missus is cheating on me, and I know the guy who she is seeing. What do I do? Wow. I mean, you know, that's, I mean, technically, so this isn't the Jeremy Kyle just show, got real. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it just, just did get real. Uh, but listen, if you, if your missus is cheating on you, then you, you, you dump her. Then bag her stuff and put it out the window. Yeah. And then you go and get on with your life. Night. There you go. There, Danielle has spoken. There is your advice from, uh, uh, you know, Jeremy Danielle. So, you, you, you know, away you go. Yeah. Uh, Matthew says, yeah, we beat Spurs 2 1 at Wayne Hartley in a few years ago. Uh, Ryan says, more chance of my channel getting a million subs than ASM leaving this summer. Uh, well, don't put yourself down, Ryan. Hey, Ryan, I'll sub to your channel, mate. Aye. Uh, interesting. Uh, Newcastle against Spurs <laughs> should be a good one, says the Red Baron. Um, sorry, Julie, I've just had a good, I've just had a great idea for Toon Review merch. I dread to think. Oh, God. Uh, everybody's saying congrats to Steph for winning the, uh, well deserved. Yep. Uh, and there's Steph herself. Uh, yeah, haha, thanks very much. You're very welcome. Um, right, that's about the 10th time you've put that comment. Um, you know, but uh, going to the Palace game, nice one. Uh, Steph's over the moon. That's good to know. Oh, bless her. Indeed. Uh, right, so if we just turn our attention a little bit to the Tottenham side... Um, Alex, do you have your wonderful uh, graph- graphics of life there? Mm. I do indeed. Get yeah. Coffee. Yes. If you uh, if you want to get yourself a coffee or a beer or whatever and some uh, popcorn, Alex is going to do the next five minutes of the show, uh, running through his uh, his incredible little graphic system and what he thinks <laughs> that Tottenham will line up on Sunday. Over to you, Alex. We can ignore our side of it because even Trippy is in there. This was me messing about with formations for us, but yeah. this is more about Spurs. So this is how they've been lining up in pretty much an unchanged side for a while now. Um, they're very, very settled in this wing-back system with, as Paul, you mentioned the other day, Hoiberg being very underrated. Him and Bentoncourt have been outstanding in recent matches. Um, they're just unplayable. They're getting 100 or so touches per game each their pass percentages is through the roof they're getting close to 90 percent pass accuracy every game um they are frightening in the middle uh, as are these front three kane son and the newly acquired kulisevsky which is um he's also been very dangerous so for people who don't know uh how they tend to be is son tends to be um all over the place in terms of pressing, trying to pick up the ball from deep. He's everywhere. Whereas Kulisevsky stays on his right wing. He's a little bit more um, kind of structured in how he plays his right wing. It's very much picks up the ball here, very much a right winger, but he's very, very tidy. He's been, he's been very good so far. Um, in terms of weaknesses, how can we get at them? Doherty has, has his off games quite frequently, as does Davis and Dyer. So these three, I believe, are where we can try and hurt Tottenham, uh, especially in the set pieces. The last couple of goals they've, they've conceded recently have been from set pieces, and we're quite good at those. We've got free kick takers. We've got Dan Byrne, Chris Wood, Joe Linton. We've got some big lads in the team. So there's definitely potential there. And Loris is, is, is a bit shaky at times. He's a bit of a erratic goalkeeper from time to time, especially coming from cro- uh, coming for crosses. Or, yeah, he's a little bit of a liability. Um, through the middle, though, I mean, it's going to be a tough game. We mentioned how our midfield is so, so aggressive now and much better. Uh, we, you know, we took on West Ham and we, we, we didn't necessarily win the midfield battle, but we, we put up a really brave display against West Ham and we sort of had even possession. This yeah. is a bit different. Tottenham have been beating everybody for possession. They they trumped Brighton for possession, and we've just played them recently. We know how good they were on the ball. Um, they beat everybody. Uh, West Ham in possession as well. Um, West. So interestingly enough, West Ham tried to match uh, Tottenham's formation. They tried to match them up in a in a wing play system. It didn't work. They 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 got destroyed. They got opened yeah. up really badly. So that may be 
makes me nervous about us trying to copy their wing back system. Maybe we should just stick to what we know best, which is our four three three. Depends what the coaches decide. Mm-hmm. Um, so their their most re- recent loss was to Burnley, and this was um, basically the, from from about uh, from this position. The ball got floated in to the to the sort of the back post area, and Ben Mee headed it in. Um, they are susceptible to set pieces. I think that's where we're going to get our goals from. So this is going to be one of those games where we're going to have to be really, really compact. Um, the centre backs are going to have to do their job. If Shah's injured, uh, obviously I'm aware Trippy is Trippy is not playing. But if if Shah is injured, then Lascelles is going to have to step up, um, especially because of runs runs from Son and Kane and how they interplay together. Uh, there's a lot of long balls from Benson Core and Hoiberg as well. They're very good at the long balls. Uh, so Lascelles is going to have to be very, very careful if he does play. Mm-hmm. They are they are very dangerous. It's going to be a tough game away from home, that's for sure. But there is potential for us to to do something, to possibly score. Uh, we just need to be very, very solid in defence and maybe try and pick up a 1-0 or a 1-1. Um, there's, there's no reason we can't get points, but it is going to be a much harder game than we've had recently. They're a much better team well, those, than that we faced. Well, those three players you mentioned that you didn't really rate. Uh, Doherty, I, I, I can't understand why Tottenham ever signed him. I, I, I don't get that at all. He's, for me, a very poor player. Dyer, I, I've had my say on him many, many times. I, I, mm-hmm. I just can't understand. Davies, yeah. not so much. I think Davies can, can be a bit hit or miss, but I, I think he's a decent player. Um, but... Uh, Certainly, Dyer is one that certainly we can get up by crossing the ball in. Chris Wood can yeah. give him a really tough time if we put the balls into Chris Wood. I mean, Dyer's looked, us better, the balls in. Re, Dyer's looked better recently as a centre back because he's got Hoiberg and Benson Core in front of him, mm. and he's by nature a midfielder anyway. So yeah. he is really comfortable in a back three and with better quality protection in front of him. Mm-hmm. He doesn't look as out of place as he used to. Um, Davis isn't the best player. He's, he's a good player. Regulon sometimes gets caught doing things up here and he does get isolated sometimes. Um, Doherty, I tend to agree. I don't know if he's the quality. Is he, is he the best choice for a right wing, uh, for a right wing back for Tottenham? Maybe, maybe not. They've played a lot with this position with, um, uh, who's the other guy that they use? Is it Bergwijn tries to play on right wing back? They've tried a lot of right wing back because there's been a lot of talk about how they let, they let Serge Aurier go. Um, and they let Kyle Walker-Peters go to Southampton, um, which he would have been the solution to this Well, he's position. better than, he's better than um, Matt Togarty by a I agree, miles. yeah, I think, yeah, for sure, 100%. So uh, he had a great game against Everton, but I don't think that's a great thing to, to base anything on because well, Everton have been yeah, quite poor yeah, despite us point. losing. Yeah. Um, but it's that, interesting. That's, yeah, it is interesting because it's, it's, it's certainly... Um, it's... Both teams have got a, a chances to score, I think, on Sunday. And I think I, I cannot see it being a nil-nil game. I'd be very, very surprised. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think that we have to... Um, and I'm sure Eddie's already planned this, but I'm sure we uh, you know, we need to get balls, good crosses in, good crosses, and, 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 and really get Eric Dyer under pressure because I think he does collapse under pressure. I think there's, you know, he's one of those players that he doesn't like being bossed around, which I think I actually think Chris Wood can do um, and give him a really rough time, providing we get Definitely. the right crosses in. So it, it will be interesting to see if we can do that. Uh, Jordy Turnbull Life says, talk about Sinclair moments. What about Baz saying Napoli are interested in Oshiman? And that's who he actually plays for. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he did say it. Uh, yeah, I know he's had a nightmare. Um Saying that now, you know, his current club are interested in signing him, which uh, is it. Well, there you go. Um, it's a bit joking, yeah, that isn't it? It is, yeah, very much. Buzz. Yeah. Um, Ryan says, <laughs> uh, what's with British people in saying Davis and not Davies? Um, I actually agree with you, Ryan. I'm very particular Davies, on Davis. people getting names right, like people, people say Frazier, right. It's not Frazier. Frazier was an American comedy series. <laughs> it's Fraser. And <laughs> Davies is I E S. Davis is D A V I S. I I I'm 100 percent behind you on that one, Ryan. I, I don't understand. Did I say people... it wrong? I don't know if you did. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking I, I about... agree with you guys. So if I said it wrong, I didn't mean to. It is Davies. I, I don't know why. No, I, I think you said, said Davies, but I, I just don't understand. Um uh, you know, the, the that really annoyed one, you there, didn't it, Paul? It, it just, it, you know, it, it just, 
it, it sucks on the anger strings. You know what I mean? It, it brings that. It, it starts to bring the rage to the forefront, Danielle mm, and I. You've missed I, I that rage, like to it. be fair. You, I well, seen it yeah, yeah it, it hasn't come out for a long time, and you mm-hmm. know it's been kept in a locked cellar <laughs> within my chest, and I just never want it to come forward again. But when people start, you know, naming sort of American comedy series after uh, you know a Newcastle winger when it's not even his bloody name, you know, it does tend to just pluck at those strings trying to pull it out the little <laughs> cellar but never mind uh anyway we move on uh thomas says now that i'm a member of the family can i just ask everyone to hit the like button and become a subscriber so close to 10k um chloe says uh i've been uh i've been on google and it was the 13th of december 2015 perez in the 93rd minute and mitro was the 75th yeah i thought mitro got one of the goals yeah um now Oh, we just had a $20 super chat come in from Keith over in the States. Thank you very much, my friend. Uh, he's gone on to comment, pints on me. Be watching from Bleary Maryland on Sunday. Can't stand the tots. But in all honesty, we're going to need some serious performances out of the guys to earn any points. It's going to be one of them right. games, Danielle, where we just can't afford to switch off at all, can we? But I think it's, again, I think it's come at the right time. We've just had a nice break. We've had a nice little bonding trip. Fitness camp. They're all on it. So I think they're going to come out ready to go and prove something. So, hey, I think we'll, we'll give it a good go. You're sounding very confident there, Danielle. I, I told you this always happens, doesn't it? Sunday, yeah. I was like, oh, we're going to get beat. We're going to, this is a loss for me. And as the week progresses, I'm like, oh. It's because I show her the chart might, you know. and show her how we could score. And she's like, oh. Yeah, it's all down to Alex's graphics. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's mm-hmm. just down to. I get too excited. Uh, I mean, it's 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 like watching Top of the Pops on a Friday night before you went out on the Raz, you know, getting them, you know. <laughs> I'll not mention the KLF again, obviously, Danielle, because uh, oh, I mean, actually people people have posted the video in the Facebook group, which is a shame you can't see it. But I'm, I'm going to try and uh, get it and, and sort of get you it might for remember you to have it a look you, at it. Yeah. If, if yeah. you just go on to put KLF uh, uh, something about Moo Moo, um, I think it's spelled M-U-M-U. It's not as in a cow's moo. Um <laughs> You know, but never yeah, mind. Yeah, the line is up for a minute, mind when you said uh-huh. Moo Moo. No, it's it, it's it's something of what's what's it called? Something of Moo Moo, but never mind. Uh, Ryan says, Paul, how has praised Kraft in the past doesn't mean Mankio will play. I think I think Mankio will be back. I, I, I mean, this right back situation, Alex, it, it's interesting to me because Kraft obviously, um, you know, I've said for, for a while now that he's done nothing wrong, uh, since he came back into the team. Um, you know, is, you know he, is, is he as good as? He's, I, mean, um, I think. Man, better, I think what he? we see, that, yeah, Kraft and Mankio have very different attributes, but Kraft has, dare I say, it improved. Yeah, I, initially I thought it was just a one-off game where he hadn't done anything wrong, uh, but I think he is possibly improving a little bit in terms of his tactical awareness, positional awareness. Um, it's still a big red red flag that every opposition team targets him. Yeah. Because their their coaching staff obviously sit down and say attack craft side, which is you know, if they're all doing that, then it means he's the weak link. But he he does look like he's improving. He's he's better on the ball. He's starting to hit some long balls. Um He's driving forward better. He did yeah. some nice skill for Sweden as well. I don't know if anybody saw any highlights. It popped up on Twitter. He did. Did he do a ball roll? He ball rolled on the on one side. He, he managed to do some to maxi skill, which was pretty interesting. Um, yeah, okay. it's a it's a funny one. I don't know if we'll. I mean, do we do we keep him? Do we not? We'll have three three right backs um, come the summer, and one of them's probably got to move on. You'd think, but. Um, if we play a back four, because um, if, if if I'm going to try and be fair across the board, Mankio was poor when he came on as a substitute the other day. He wasn't good as a substitute, despite the fact that I think he's the better player and I like Mankio. He he was poor when he came on. So I think by merit, if we if we continue with Howe's, you know, choice, it's got to be Kraft. Um, as crazy as that is. Uh Tune review is the gift that never stops giving. Exactly, my friend, and we will mm-hmm. keep giving. Um, <laughs> I agree, Alex, and I think I think he may well go with Kraft on Sunday because he's 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 done nothing wrong. And <sighs> it's not just that anymore, though. It's the fact that he's starting to do things right as well. Yeah, 
I it's, just wish it's the only weird. thing I wish Kraft would improve on Alex and, and, and Daniel is his positional play. I think he gets sucked yeah. in too much. Yeah. Um, and if he just puts his head up now and again just to realize where he is and who's behind him, because it does worry me that he doesn't really know who's behind him when he, he thinks he has to come and help well, out the centre It's going to be Hyunmin Song and Harry Kane, so he's got to be switched oh, on. Christ on a bike. Yeah. That, well, that's what does worry me. <laughs> um, I don't think he's got the pace to put up with Son. That's That's the thing. Um, Jordy oh. Two for Life says, Alex, that's exactly how I would set up against Spurs. Uh, oh, that's, that wasn't my lineup. That was just our uh, brand. No, no, players. I think he meant the formation, to be honest. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Uh, Will says, uh, would never dare to cheat on Danielle. Sorry, you spelt your name wrong. Um, oh, God. Yeah. I don't, Bin I don't bags think... out the window. <laughs> See you later. Uh, Eddie Howe is the manager. I wish MSM uh, would stop putting forward managers when they become free. Uh, yes, uh, I agree with that. Um, Daniil says, loving this, Alex. Who needs Sky? Exactly. exactly. Who needs Sky's little boards when we've got Alex's graphics? You know, and that's who needs the... Sky commentary? When you've got me. I mean, listen, I hope on Sunday, guys, that you are going to knock that bloody Martin Tyler off uh, for the biased commentary because obviously Tottenham are a London team and you love it mm. if they beat Newcastle. Um, and you can just watch it and listen to my commentary. I mean, there's nothing better on a Sunday afternoon. Oh. I did forget something, by the way, Paul. They did lose to Man United, but I don't count that because they lost to Ronaldo. They didn't lose to Man United. It was literally Ooh. Ronaldo scored three goals and carried Very good, them. Alex. Very so good. I'm not... <laughs> Man United didn't do anything tactically correct to beat Spurs. Ronaldo just did Ronaldo things. So I'm not going to... We don't mm. have that player. Um, you know, Maxi's got a long way to go before he can start doing things like that. Before he's winning games on his own. We don't have anybody like that at the moment. So... Yeah. Um, P. Davidson says he's just tuned in, but why is Trippy in there? It, it, he's, he's not in there. It's just Alex was doing a um, the formation. Around, it, it, it just I, I was playing around, around with free transfer um, formations with new players, so um, that's what we could look like in the summer. With yeah, ignore that. I, that was more about Spurs. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Paul to replace Jeff Stelling, Defo. Uh, interesting, Pete. Thank he's you very staying, much. He's isn't he? Jeff Stelling now. Yeah, he's, he's doing another change. year. Yeah, um, mm-hmm. he's doing another year, uh, yeah. which which is good. I I, I think it'd be very very. Uh, honestly, when he announced his retirement, I thought, wow, that is going to be very hard for him on a Saturday afternoon. Mm. Um, not doing that, you know, it's it's part of his life for so long. Yeah, you can't um, imagine him like popping around a garden centre on a Saturday, can you? When he well, be you know, the, the, I, no. I don't think he's ready to start putting the plants just yet. To be no. honest, um, Will says I think it will be a draw. Spurs are not that good, even though they beat us. Uh, Daniel says, "What software have you used to do this, Alex? First time I've seen it." Daniel, Alex does not give away his secrets. Uh, no. That is something that stays within the inner circle of the two of you. Uh, in fact, I haven't even got a clue what Alex <laughs> uses. No uh, so I screen shared it so you, t- you can see what I use, just, to be fair. Shut up, Batman, will you? <laughs> you, 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 you will never give his sources away. Um, <laughs> Chloe says that they lost to Burnley deliberately hopeful that we will get dragged into the bottom three. Spurs can't pull the wool over my eyes. Uh, well, Daniel Levy, of course, we know we're high. <sighs> we hold him in such high esteem at Newcastle so United. Burnley did really well. Um, Burnley had, uh, what did they do? Twelve shots. No, they had Burnley had more shots than Tottenham in that game, uh, and they reduced Spurs to like one shot on target. Burnley actually did far better. They had way more shots on goal than Spurs did. Spurs were awful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Thomas is uh, Paul, my friend. Eki Teke. Eki Teke. Eki Teke. Shut up, Thomas. Uh, <laughs> Uh, need to need to start pronouncing Manquillo right. Yeah, Manquillo is how it's said. Manquillo, not Manquillo. What I say Manquillo. People... Yes, you do, Danielle. And, because I'm you know, lazy. That's well, why. Unlaziness yourself and start I saying it properly Manquillo. because it's annoying your nickname. I can't say it. Um, Manquillo. I can't. Man- Manquillo. Manquillo. <laughs> Move on. You just, you just say man and then key as in house key and o. Man key o. <laughs> How difficult is that? Stop shouting, you made us laugh. For the love of the Lord. I mean, <laughs> I, it, it, we, we got to improve because we're probably going to sign a lot more exotically named players. Yes. We've got uh, to learn. Yes, we are. Uh, and, uh, no, I've got a gripe as well. Everybody's given up Bruno's name now. Everybody keeps calling him Guimirez. No, 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 no. That's not how you oh say God. his name. It's not, it's not Guimirez. 
we literally had a whole thing in January about how to say his bloody name and everybody's <laughs> binned it off within two months. And it is not fair. The so poor go on, guy. How do you see it, Alex? Go on. Mm-hmm. G- G- Guimarães. Bruno oh, Guimarães. No, 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 Guimarães. I'm going to do the same plan. Bruno G. I'll tell you what. Bruno. Bruno's fine, but it's when the pundits call him Gu- Guimarães. It's like, oh, well, I, I did call him Guimarães. In yeah, January you tried. when he I, signed. I, I, kudos I for everybody close. who tries. I was close. Um, Susan says, I pronounce everything wrong. Oh, my Amen, God. Yes, you Susan. do. Uh, Amen. Oh, my God. Uh, it, listen, I could write a novel on some of the stuff that Susan's come <laughs> out with, and it would be a bestseller. Let me tell you that. Uh, she has me in stitches. And it's mostly on a Saturday. I don't know what it is about a Saturday, but Susan <laughs> turns into a different breed. <laughs> on a Saturday, uh, and has me rolling with laughter. I don't know what it is about it, but there you go. Um, <laughs> Daniil says, Steve Davis, Jonathan Davies. Thank you, Daniil. Thank you. Uh, Chesri says, my dad says, St. Almiron. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, yeah, and... Th- th- <laughs> Uh, Chris Wood is often called Woods. Indeed, oh, he's yeah, not. I don't agree with that. Uh, Keith says, I'd love to see a win, even a draw, but that's going to be a tall order. Uh, another Keith is going for a 1 1 draw. Um, Kath says, uh, Davies Davis, it's a Welsh name, and it's then pronounced Davies as Davis. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, George, thank you very much for the five pounds super chat. Uh, he says, I had a rough couple of days health-wise, so thanks for getting my spirits back up. Uh, you're oh, welcome, mate. Okay. Um, I hope you're okay, buddy. Uh, uh, I hope to see you next Friday night sitting in front of me cheering the lads on. Um, Jordy Tune for Life says, I should have said fancy getting English lessons off a of North American. Oops, Canadian. <laughs> Why is it this channel always tries to start World War Three? I, I, I don't understand it. I'm not getting um, uh, Chesley says, Susan should have said, I pronounce every tink wrong. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to re- try reading our text messages sometimes. <laughs> Bloody hell. Uh, it, it's it's literally an impossibility. Uh, Jordy Chimberlake says, I think he could be putting craft in the transfer window. Wise from Mr. Howe. That is a possibility as well. Uh, Jen, Johnny says, when is the next transfer show? Very much enjoyed the last one. Uh, Monday night. Um, not sure of the time yet, but keep an eye on the uh, on the channel. Um, which reminds me, Alex, you're still yet to send me them. Uh, you know, I can't, I can't graphic design in one day. There's a lot, there's a lot of work. It's a lot, there's a lot to uh, do. Uh, yeah, I know. You see, a lot goes on behind the scenes, people. A lot. Busy, busy. Yes. Uh, Goat Litton says, Craft is the next Kafu. Um, yeah. Uh, Ron says, uh, Tammy Wynette and KLF justified and oh, ancient. There, so right. Can... Danielle, that's the song right there. Right? right. When you hear it, I guarantee. Well, I write it down somewhere. I write I it down. Gar- well, have you got your phone there? Just take a screenshot. No, I don't have my phone. That's terrible. A woman. Well, I get wrong for reading my phone when I'm on the show, so I don't. I don't do that. Yeah, I, mean, I meant to have a word with Alex to then. stop telling you off for doing that. <laughs> but listen, as soon as you hear that song, you will know it. Okay. I'm pretty certain on it. Uh, Mark says, "Can't wait for the merch. We'll be spending a small fortune." Uh, hopefully everyone will. Uh, Les, good evening from the world of Moo. <laughs> Think we sneak it to one. Um, will Man United win against Leicester City? Uh, Mohammed, I don't care. I am not a Manchester United channel. If you want that information, go and see John Sinclair's channel. Um, Bagpuss is uh, 3 2 on Sunday, but we need ASM. He's got to start, Alex Shuley. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he's fit. He's he's he played, uh, Two short substitute appearances, coming back from injury, um, and now he's back in. Tra- he's well been in training for a few weeks. He played uh, sixty minutes. Or, well, it was a sixty-minute training match, and I, I'm unaware as to whether he was subbed off on that because of, obviously it was uh, behind closed doors. I think they put, didn't they play a second match? I, I, it's been too long. We need real football yeah. back. Um, he should be ready. He's raring to go. He's posting lots of things, uh, motivational things. He's ready. Um, Hundred percent. He's got to play left wing. It's it's exploitable the way, the way they are, especially um, with their formation. If we can catch their wing back, that this is precisely what we uh, Hedy Howe was originally doing in January, February, was trying to get the ball up to Joe and Wood, yeah. um, with ASM sort of running around the sides. The the old tactic that saw a start a winning run will probably be used. Um, 
see if we can exploit him. Max, Max he's definitely got it in there. He'll be raring to go. So mm-hmm. I hope he silences some critics and plays 90 minutes. Do you think he will silence those critics? It's possible. It's very possible. Um, again, it's he's still he's still got the same problem of people load that side. He's going to have Hoiberg on that side, plus uh, they play a back three. So he's going to have a wing back, a centre back and Hoiberg. He's going to be tripled up on on occasion. So mm-hmm. we need, um, l- like we saw, for example, against Manchester United, when Joe Linton was helping him out and they did all those funny nutmegs and they were really, really good. Maxi needs a bit of help. He needs runners around him to pull space. He can't take on the world. Um, you know, it's not FIFA. Yeah. He, we need the rest of the team to pull their weight offensively with space and movement. Um, and if anybody's got it, it's it's Maxi for sure. Yeah, we can't uh, just if, hatch if, eggs um, out of nowhere, can we, Alex? No, exactly. We've established that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Susan, uh, please, you've got to do a t-shirt with that as well about hatching yeah. eggs and Alex because that has become a, a fantastic quote. I can't remember what short was on, so we can go back and get it just so Susan knows what to put on the t-shirt because that. Well, is... it was definitely a preview because I was sat here. Right. Um, I it was, know it, was it not when we when, when we left Twitter? Was it not the first preview after possibly, that? Possibly, possibly. But uh, yeah. I'll have a look back because it, it, mm-hmm. it, it's there and it, just Alex's face with the with the quote it around it's it just a, highlight for me or an egg hatching on top of Alex's head. You know, like mm-hmm. for, for any uh, new people. I, I, there was a comment. Okay, it was a neutral comment, and I got a bit overly aggressive for no reason. It, about, wow, about the youth I think academy. it was the first time we saw any aggression from you, Alex. Brilliant. To be honest, well, it was about the youth academy producing talent and the expectation of that. And you, I was obviously, um, I just saw red, and we were like six months post takeover. I was like, we can't hatch youth players out of eggs. Like it's going to take five <laughs> to ten years to get this process before we produce Phil. I think Foden's, what you said was, what do you, you know? want to do? Like hatch them out of eggs. What do you want to do? Yeah. Hatch them out of eggs. Yeah, it was the way you said it. it was it was brutal, brutal. Was Alex. Um, we've had another nine ninety nine. Well, dollars from Chris Murray out in the states, my old uh, hockey buddy. Uh, thank you very much, Chris. Uh, really appreciate that, bud. Hope you're well. Um, Scott says, uh, if you sort your clock out so I can sync with you, I'll be there. Tune, tune. Listen, it's not all about a clock. A, a cl- you've got a clock on your wrist. You've got a clock on your phone. It doesn't matter about a ticking clock on a live stream. I will be commentating. It's on Sky. I have a massive television just to my right here, and I will be spinning my laptop and everything around, doing the live stream as I'm watching the game live. So, it, you know, there will be people who don't have Sky who will still want to listen to the commentary because they won't be able to watch it um, or they're watching on a stream, so it'll be it'll be a little bit behind. But they still enjoyed the commentary. I enjoy it more when I'm behind because, because I know the, what's coming. Yeah, you can Do either I mean? hide or get ready to jump up and down like a loony. Or I can leave um, the room if Lee's watching the game with us just in time for the, like, well, exactly. incident. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm sorry. Can you just repeat that, Danielle? In- oh. What incident? Oh, do you if mean on the goal, pitch? Like, say if we concede, oh. I get a two-minute head start. Right, so I'm I like, thought you right, were I'm getting a bit too excited, if you know yeah. what I mean. So, I, you know, I was like, Come whoa, hey, now. where are we going here? Family show. Yes, indeed. Um, uh, cheers, guys. <laughs> the perils of joining halfway through cracking show as usual. Um, Bruno has a new contract for Man United until 2027. Do I look like I give a monkey's bottoms chuff? I do not care about Bruno of Manchester United because I'll tell you why Mohammed there is only one Bruno in this Premier League now and he is called Bruno and he plays 39 for Newcastle uh, sorry Alex go on you can just say his name please you were doing so well I know I was I do apologize <laughs> G- G- Gimaraes yeah. that's him Bruno ah. Gimaraes not Bruno Fernandez Bruno Gimaraes there is only one and he will be taken over the Premier League by storm. So I'm sorry, Mohammed, to upset you, but I do not care about Manchester United. As I say, if you want <laughs> I Manchester hate them, United, me. I'm sorry, I do. I do. I despise them. But you know, it, it, listen. If you want Manchester United content, John Sinclair TV is the place to go. He claims he's a Newcastle fan, but clearly on not. Tuesday. Uh, yes, or on it, uh, like I say, or go and watch Maisie at Devils United. She's got a really good Man United mm-hmm. channel. She's a cracking little lass, crack, knows her stuff. Um, so please, you know, if you, if you want Man United contact, or go and watch Mark Goldbridge. He's he's perfectly good. He, well, he's excellent. So go and watch him as well. Um, and anywho. 
Yes, uh, he's put another comment about the next manager of uh, Manchester United. Well, I don't care. Mm. Uh, Bob says, Danielle grows in contribution and professionalism with every episode. So now a proper big three. Good job. Thanks. There you go, Danielle. Because I'm not looking at my phone anymore. That's why. Well, exactly. Uh, it, it, concentration, it's, it, it's all about that. I mean, look at Alex. He never takes his face off the screen because he knows, he knows there could be a very, very vital statistical question coming up. And I said you're, statistical you're live on the... Any chance for banter, so I've just got to stay perfectly still. <laughs> yeah. Uh, listen, I've just said statistical. Statistical <laughs> live on a show without messing... Well, I, uh, anyway. Um, Will says, my girlfriend's a massive Newcastle United fan and loves your channel. Why I pop in from time to time. Thanks, Will. Uh... Davy says Danielle a big uh, Danielle a bin bag is a Macam suitcase. Correct. Oh. Well, uh, if, if they're cheating, they deserve one, don't they? Indeed, the indeed, window. indeed. Uh, Wood needs to start roughing up defenders. Dyer is there to be got at if Wood wants it bad enough. I guess that's what it's about, though, Alex, isn't it? If the crosses come in, he's got to want to get on the end of them as well, because we we, we all know that some of his positional play hasn't been good enough, and you know. If he wants to be involved, he's got to want to be on the end of those crosses. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure how effective we are going to be at pinging in crosses with their formation and their quality. Mm. Uh, we might be able to get some in. I think it's going to be more of a case of free kicks and corners, um, which obviously they're going to be able to set up for. Um, and Wood, we don't, we rarely see Wood produce anything from our set pieces. And I think that is because he's so heavily marked. They just put their biggest man on him and burn. Um, but, but Burn doesn't care, he wins anyway because he's so tall um, uh, maybe I'd like to see him try and bring other people into play a bit more, yeah. that would be nice that's what I'm hoping yeah, yeah. and then maybe we can win some free kicks from that and we, we just we need the ball to stick a bit more because we can't we can't have him you know, messing up the receiving the cross or receiving a long ball and then because it's just going to go straight back up to, to Kane and Son and Kulosevsky we, we don't mm. want that yeah, definitely. Uh, Unknown Shadow, uh, I am pretty sure, is a Mackham. I mean, oh. wow. I, you, you know when you just... Somebody tells a joke and then there's just that... All you can hear is just a slight breeze. Unbelieved. Yeah. Where is he now? Is he still at Forest or is he... He's, mm -hmm. for, he's doing well at Forest, to be fair. I mean, he, he was all right. He played left back against Liverpool and did okay. Um, so... Yeah. Uh, Ginger says, uh, with a five-sub rule, uh, will Newcastle now bring in eight players and not six? Ginger, I hope they bring in 10, 15, 20. Let's just hope, yeah. just, just just revamp everything, buddy, uh, and see what we get. Uh, Chesri says, help us get the 10K and we'll do a video specifically on adjunctive verbs. Uh, no For you, can, Ches. Yes, exactly, Ches. Ches will. Uh, <laughs> Ches will also, once we hit 10K, Ches has promised to send us a video of one of his shark wrestling um, episodes. Oh, wow. um, as we all know, he works as a professional shark wrestler, <laughs> keeping those great whites away from the beaches um, in his uh, home country of South Africa. Does a wonderful job at it. Uh, he's got no sleeves left in any of his shirts because the sharks have ripped them all off. So he walks around with muscle tops on all the time. Um, however, uh, he has told us that he'll take his GoPro down there and film one of these shark wrestles uh, for our 10K celebration. Tell you what, if well, that's absolutely. not worth a sub, I don't know what it is. Exactly, exactly. Uh, David says, Big Dan Byrne, a name as no-nonsense as the player, should be in the England team ahead of the Man United fridge. Well, okay. you could talk about Maguire. Listen, I don't, I don't really think it was... What happened to Harry Maguire, you know, with the boo, and I didn't agree with that at all. I think that's poor, very poor. Why was he um, booed? Sorry, I don't watch Just England. Because it's Harry Maguire, um, and mm. he's not playing particularly this well. This is what we can't do to Lascelles. Oh, I thought he's done comes something. In, or... Yeah, we've no. got to give him a chance. Um, he's he's been out the limelight. You know, he's he's had some time in training. Maybe he's been coached. I'll tell you what. In the video, in the training video, he looked a bit leaner. His face, maybe he's just a bit dehydrated because it was so hot. It's very possible. But I'm interested <laughs> to see what he does in the back end of the season. Yeah. Um, I, I, he is the captain at the end of the day. He still is one of the youngest centre-backs. So despite his awful performances in the first half of the season, I still want to, I still want him to do well. So I, yeah, just get behind him. If he starts, please guys don't, we, we need his head on straight. Cause he's, um, we need him to focus. Yeah. 
Um, listen, I, I mean, I think it, it, it's hard. Like I say, I despise Man United as a football fan. Just, Same. Just because of the rival we have with them, or rotten. we've had over the years. And mm -hmm. the way they try to run football, um, yes. along with a few other clubs. Uh, I don't have a problem with some Man United fans. Some I do because of the way they behave. Uh, mm -hmm. at, at games, uh, I I will never forgive them for throwing that coin at that little child at three seats along for me a few years ago. Um, disgraceful behaviour. Um, however, you know Harry Maguire at the end of the day, he's pulling an England uniform on, and uh, in my opinion, didn't deserve that. It was it was it was wrong, um, and that's what we, we we can't start getting into a habit of doing that with international players. Um, no matter who they play for, or what kind of form they're in. When they pull on an England shirt, we should be 100% behind them, no matter what. Um, and yeah, if they have a bad game, then we talk about it afterwards, saying, oh, should never have been in the team. Like Tyrone Mings, f for me, shouldn't be anywhere near an England squad. All right. But if they do start and they pull on an England shirt in the World Cup, whoever it may be, I will be cheering them on. It's as simple as that. And they don't deserve that. And if they have a bad game, you talk about it afterwards and hopefully the manager then decides to leave them out. Um, but that's up to the manager at the end of the day. Um, I will be at Graft Sunday, so I'll be listening to your commentary. Uh, thank you very much, buddy. Uh, Joe Willock will get a late winner against Tottenham. I bloody hope so. Uh, Alex says, Paul, you should do a joint watch along with Danielle uh, or Paul. Uh, well, Danielle or Paul at some point. Uh, I mean, I can't do one with me, you know, unless I sat next to a mirror. I don't know how that would work, <laughs> oh though. Um, Double Paul? Yes, I think that would be too much. Uh, hello, Paul. Hello, Paul. You know, it would just say the same thing as me. Um, I think you meant Alex, but look, it, it's difficult because I've got the... the, the, the software, the, um, isn't it, that you I've use? I've got the software yeah. that I use, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get this new software up and run where I can actually, you know... A new subscriber comes in and we get a little ping alert on the screen or a, 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 a yeah. super chat. Or if Newcastle United score, I've got some, I want to play some goal music, you know, and, and jump Ooh. around like a fanny in front of the camera, but play some goal music. Well, you so do I'm that now anyway, on. just without music, uh, don't you? Yeah, but I'm, I'm oh, there's no need. There's absolutely <laughs> no fucking need, Daniel. Uh, What's the language? <laughs> I don't give a monkey's chuff. <laughs> Tell me to watch the language. You're not my mother. Um, it gets anyway, a bit crowded on watch alongs. Most most streamers do, even if they have a team, they do them as one because it gets crowded. It's hard to listen to multiple commentaries. Yeah, uh, you know, you've got people comment commenting on what's going on, and you. It's not a proper commentary if you're, you know, if you've got like three or four people on a stream what doing a watch along. It's not a commentary because they're just talking about things going on in the game, reading, mm -hmm. you know, they're not commentating. I like to do a proper commentary. Um, You're really good and I'm not. So I think that's for the best, really. Oh, you've just, you've just redeemed yourself there, Danielle. Just speak the truth. <laughs> uh, Ginger says, Paul, the Yeti Techie deal, Benfica. Uh, Darwin Nunes at least scored in Madrid and Bappe is the only next Henry, Henri in France. Paul, we need proven strike and not Nixon's choice. Oh, Indeed. Uh, hopefully not linked with Jonathan David. Uh, I won goal in 16 now. Couldn't score versus Panama last night. Uh, I think Foxy just likes to wind uh, Ryan up. Ryan. To be honest. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, Mohammed says, I'm sorry, I'm going to ask someone else. Thank you, Mohammed. Oh, bless him. <laughs> yeah, I do feel sorry for that striker for Jonathan David. People have got to remember that Denver Bay used to score in the first half of the season and not in the second. Like, it happens. You can still be a good player. He's yeah. quite young and raw as well, and he's not super physical. He will, he'll fill out a bit and be a bit a bit stronger as a striker. Um, it doesn't mean he's poor. There's a lot of strikers yeah. struggling. Isaac's struggling at the back end of this season as well, and he's one of yeah. the highest rated young strikers. Uh, it's Isak, actually. Isak. Uh, yes. Uh, if we're going on proper name pronunciation, Alex, Isak. which you made a big point of not 10 minutes ago, and you've bloody said his name wrong. Facing <sighs> there, Alex. Oh dear, honestly, I mean, uh, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, um, I don't know what the hell Susan's on it for, but I, oh, I, the, the the thing with the egg. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm I'm glad someone's there to remind me. Uh, Mohammed says, "Do you have any friends support Man United?" Yes, John Sinclair. John Sinclair. <laughs> um, he claims to be a Newcastle fan, Mohammed, but he is really a closet Man United fan. He loves talking about Man United. So, if you want to discuss Man United. John Sinclair TV, he will talk about Man United till the cows come how, home. How and does a Man United fan find 
what did you type in to find this? You typed in Manchester United and it came up with oh, Spurs. He's viewing, he's viewing this. He's perfectly entitled to view this. Show. I know, but I don't know how a Man United fan trips and falls. You don't into be throwing people back show. off. How does it happen? <laughs> John Sinclair falls into St James's Park now and again. Well, so. yeah, yeah, that's true. But seriously, Mohammed, if you um, <laughs> Devils Looking United, uh, Devils United is the channel name. Uh, young Maisie is the presenter. She's really, really good. Uh, she does lots of Man United content and quizzes and stuff like that. It's a brilliant channel. Uh, she's definitely up and coming. Um, she's got o- over five hundred subs now, so it is. She is getting getting up there now. Uh, and getting mm-hmm. recognised. So, uh, or there's uh, obviously the United Stand with Mark Goldbridge. That's the that's the big channel. Uh, but there's plenty out there, Mohammed. But you are welcome to view our services as well. Not what I mean, he says on the bottom there, right? About what did you type in? Our together? services. You, Sorry. You, I did sound like a bit of a pimp there. Um, <laughs> you are very welcome to watch our channel, Mohammed. I'll put oh, myself right. Uh, God, Danielle. I mean, I'm not pimping Danielle out. I'm, I'm, I'm digging myself a hole. So I'm going to show <laughs> you and get on my right? I know, I know. Uh, Tangy <laughs> says, uh, "Oh, see, he's justified in his Bruno. He wears a magic hat. He's just, you see, that's in the that's in the tune of the KLF. So you need to you need to right. learn that song, Alex, and then you, uh, Danielle, you'll be able to sing it. Right. Um, that's that's just how it goes. Um, is there a Mackham in the chat? Because some people are laughing at League One and stuff. I don't know. Oh, God. Of saying League One minnows. I take it there's a Mackham somewhere oh, kicking geez. about. Uh, uh, the song is now in our group chat. Uh, so Ooh. there you go. It's in WhatsApp, Ooh, Daniel. So after the show, you can go the, and watch after it. After the show. Um, indeed. Uh, there is definitely a Mackham in here because uh, still playing in EFL One. Use the force, Luke. Uh, okay. Uh, John, John and Macy is the duo. Yay! <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Oh my god! Why does he do that every time he goes? Yeah, I just want to strangle him. I don't know why. Because I, he's I, an I, enigma. That's why he is. He's an enigma. Uh, he, but we well, that was him. a big word from me. Uh, right, well, it was. Uh, I think you've been you're getting the uh, dictionary toilet roll. Uh, Dan says, greetings from America, now officially qualified. How's, how's life going on across the pond? It's not too bad, Dan. Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, Daniil says, exactly, Paul. Only one Bruno, Bruno G. Uh, right. It is time for our score predictions oh, and possible team lineup. Uh, Alex, what would your team be for the match? Uh, target, burn, share. And I'm going to say craft based on Same. form. Okay. Uh, with obviously Dubs back in goal. Fingers crossed everything's okay and his illness thing is all sorted. Um, Touch wood. So I'll, I'll stick with that back four. Craft deserves to, to stay in based on merit. Um, you know we've got to be we've got to be consistent. Otherwise I'll be hypocritical. So I've got I've got to put him in. Uh, I would I want to go. I'm going to drop Willock. Um, for this game, not because Ooh. he's done anything wrong, because I think he suits. I think the the three that I'm going to pick suit the game more. Uh, Bruno next to Shelby, uh, with Joe Linton sat in front. Yeah, uh, and then the front three of of Maxi Wood uh, and Ryan Fraser. Spot so on. I'm not not dropping Willett because he's done anything wrong. I just think against their double pivot and the the stress of it. Uh, I just think Joe Linton's going to press better. Shelby is better as a shield and is going to be a better long ball outlet. And Bruno is just magic. So, And Shelby's good from the free kicks perspective as well. If we're, get, if we're going to go from free kicks, we need Shelby. Yep. So. Exactly. Fair enough. Um, Jesuit says Brian Johnson. I haven't heard from Brian for a few we weeks. We have. Actually. I meant to oh, tell right. you. So, Lee got a text off Brian the other day right. saying, can you pass on to Paul? Sorry that I haven't, but I am now. Disgraceful. That- Something's happened with his bank. Right. Um, he, he somehow he thinks that he has to pay to watch the show. Bless him. Eh? I don't know. So we've texted him and said, obviously, it's free. But I meant to tell you. Sorry. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, you don't have I'll get, to pay. I'll text him when I get in and just say. Bloody hell. No, you don't have to pay back. to watch the show. Christ almighty. Um, Mohammed's found a Man United channel, everybody. Mohammed. Thank you. Well done, my friend. Congratulations, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, Joe Linton's going 2-2. Will's also going 2-2. Carl's going 1-0 with Bruno to score. Um, 
so that's that's an interesting one. Uh, Dupes is a throw, sore throw, not a heart condition. I know that, yeah. Uh, Christopher says 2 1 Spurs. Unfortunately, can't see us keeping either Kane or Son quiet for the whole match. Uh, Matthew would be happy with a point. Tangy says 1 1. Uh, again, positivity, we're not getting beat. Uh, Terry says on Sunday when we score, you can celebrate by singing fine on the fine on the time. Don't you mean fog, Terry? I think you've had a Sinclair, mate. <laughs> no, I think you've had a Sinclair. Who, fine. me? Yeah, fine. Who gets all the fines? You get all the fines. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a fine for a while. Well oh, done, actually. Terry. Well done. Yeah. Um, I did forget to go on my driver's awareness course, and now I've got to get three points. Oh, poor I man. did have COVID at the time, though, to be fair. You've had COVID a lot, bless you, haven't I've you? I've had it twice, and twice, you know, when, when they rescheduled it, I got COVID again, and I missed both of them. So never mind. I'll just pay the, pay the fine and... Uh, Oh, there they are. I wondered where they were, Caitlin and Nick. I thought you had to pay £6.10. <laughs> uh, Jordy Chief Life's going 2 0. Shira 1 1. Uh, football style going 2 1. Newcastle. Um, DJL floats 2 2. Burnt to grab his first goal. Um, Larry says, My brain says 2 2. My heart says 3 2. Newcastle. Go with your heart, my friend. Go with your heart. Uh, it's all fine by Paul, says Julie. <laughs> Um, Mark says uh, 1-1 uh, I just want to win uh, Don't care what score says Davey Hey There he yes! is Brian Being rough but okay Brian I hope you're alright matey um, I meant to give him my phone number last time I met him But uh, Brian if you've got I don't suppose Brian will know how to use email, will he, Daniel? Do you want me he's... to send? Do you want me to send you? Brian yeah, text Timber? him. Text him his number, Brian. If you, if you, you know, get, have me number, mate. And if you're feeling rough, just you want to have a laugh, just drop us a text, mate. We'll uh, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll meet up for a drink, or we'll uh, just text or have a laugh, and whatever I'll come it as is. Well. Yeah. So, Brian, uh, Danielle will send you my number, mate. You just drop us a text, and then you, uh, yeah, let us know how you are, buddy. Uh, Chloe says Spurs one, Newcastle four. Oof. Uh, Chloe, <coughs> either you've um, had a little bit of the wine tonight or um, you're incredibly positive for a, a, a big win on Sunday. Um, agree with Alex's team for Spurs. My head says 1-1. One, one. Nathan's going 2-1 with Target and Maxi scoring. Um, I could see Target making I... one before the end of the season. He just keep doing quite well. Yeah, fair enough. 3-1, says AJ, with Woodburn and Maxi. Uh, Yano's going 3-1 as well. Uh Chipper says, I think the Spurs 6, Newcastle, ha, bloody ha. <laughs> uh, Ellis says, 3-1 uh, win. Uh, Danielle, stop doing that slight little laugh. You know, I, I mean, it. Alex is trying to control himself and you you just can't. Uh, <laughs> Ches says, is, uh, there you are, my friend. Sorry to hear that, man. I hope you recover well. He will. We'll look after him, Ches. Don't worry. Uh, we need all just go, and go to Ches's bloody uh, little... Uh, Brian, I'll bring you a casserole. Eh? I'll bring Brian a casserole. That'll fix him. Mm, casserole or a trip to South Africa. Now, let me think. Well, a bit of new... What are you on about? You haven't had my casserole? It's good, you know. And you get browns in it. Lovely. I... <sighs> Listen. Yes, Terry, I know now. Danielle's put me right. Ha, ha. Um, <laughs> right, Danielle, what's going to be your team for Sunday? The same. Same as, same as Alex is. Same as but... Alex it just depends on injuries, doesn't it? In terms of is Dubs going to play? Is LaSalle going to come in for Shaw? I don't yeah. know. Um, Do you I think he'll drop think Willock? We'll tomorrow. I, it's going to be interesting. I think he's got to play Bruno. I think that he's got to. He can't leave Bruno out. Oh. He's a Brazilian international and he can't give the excuse when he's been away. You know, because Chris Wood's been all over the world as and well. He played Tuesday and he's going to play Chris Wood. Yeah, so he did. So it's it's enough time, time, surely. Of course it is. Of course it is. I'm pretty sure um, Son played Tuesday night, didn't he? So yeah, yeah, Tuesday. But apparently he was. Um, oh, who was saying he was crap? It was Roy. Um, said he was Roy. Poor. Yeah, Roy said he was terrible, and he, he got... wasn't poor statistically. I had a look. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe he was just crap visually, but he looked great on paper. Um, well, let's hope he's crap both on paper and visually on Sunday. Um, th- th- mm-hmm. that's what we're looking for. Um, Chloe says, I'm extremely positive. Honestly, no wine whatsoever. Uh, no. I don't believe you. Um, Angie says three, two, uh, Thomas is going for a two, one, two win. Um, 
Uh, Bruno only gets dropped if he's tired. Uh, well, he shouldn't be tired. David's going 2-1 to the tune. He thinks we'll do just fine as well. Uh, Foxy says, uh, we are playing Spurs team that apparently have world-class players in every position, so it could be tricky. Uh, Dan says, it's always weird after an international break, especially one where the World Cup teams are basically finalised. So it could be a weird match. Uh, Foxy says, 1-1 one, one would be decent. Uh, get Woodman in goal, says Angie. Uh, that's not going to happen. He's uh, he's actually lost his place at Bournemouth now, so uh, things are not going well for Mr. Woodman. Right. Mm -hmm. My team is exactly the same as you two, <laughs> which mm -hmm. is uh, strange, but we all agree on the same team. Mm -hmm. Scoreline, Alex. Mm, I'm going to go with 2-2. Two, two. A Desmond. With yeah, going wow. to be a 2-2. I think we're going to get one from a set piece. Um, I'm not sure who. I think it'll probably be Wood or Burn causing a scramble. Um, possibly a magic man might might get one from said scramble. Maybe Bruno. Um, and then an open play. Uh, I think Max is going to get one from open play this time. And then I think we're just going to get ripped apart by Son and Kane a couple of times. Either one to get, to get it. So 2-2. Two, two. Fair enough. Danielle? I'm going to oh, see. Oh. She's having to think about this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say 3-2 to us. 3-2 to us. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the goal I'll scorers? Hope you're right. I'm going to say Fraser, Big Joe, because I always say Big Joe. And he has a shot for the haters, ESM. Oh, oh. Uh, Jordy Two for Life says scrambled egg, scrambled egg, Alex. Uh, okay. Uh, Brian says, uh, Paul and Danielle, uh, what you just said about me thinking I had to pay is bollocks. I, <laughs> I've always gladly paid, especially now Alex's Alex boss, is boss. I'm back. <laughs> yeah, definitely yeah. not boss. Oh, I'm glad you're okay, Brian. Yeah, I'm still gonna, uh, Brian, for that comment, I'm still gonna slap your ball. Bo boss is six foot seven or six foot six. See, I, I ain't bossing that. Uh, six foot five, mate. Uh, you, you remember know, what he said earlier on in the show? He wears a clock on his wrist, not a watch. So if he's big enough to wear a clock on his wrist, I ain't the boss. How the hell do you remember me saying something like that in, <laughs> in just because uh, it's like fully uh, alert? That's why. in hell. Honestly, never mind. Uh, right. Uh, okay, I'm going for. Drum roll. 2 1, Newcastle. Uh, I think it's going to be a very, very, very close game. I think it'll be a very difficult game, but I think 2 1 to Newcastle. And I'm going to go Chris Wood to score both. <laughs> Sorry, that was too much of a proper giggle. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I, was, I'm, I am. I genuinely think, right? I, you know, and I'm saying this because of who, who Tottenham have got at the back, right? I I, I really do think Chris Wood can get it, um, Danny Dyer, um, I, I, you know, the female one, because I, I just think he's he's terrible, Dyer. He's terrible. And I think if he if he really puts up a fight and wants it, he'll get goals. He might, he might score another own goal like he did last time. Well... Maybe, maybe, but we'll see. Well, how's Wood going to score these? You think he's these are just going to be headers, or do you think he's going to like actually do something with his feet? Alex, I said he scored two goals. I didn't say how. <laughs> I, 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 Fair I, enough. I, I, that's that's taking it to the next level. Mm -hmm. um, let me just, um, you know, keep it controlled, and you know, hopefully, he will listen. Uh, uh, Ronald, cheese, uh, Ronald. He says, "Why? Well, you need another fine." Uh, Jordy Tune for Life says drugs are really bad for you, Paul. Come off them now. Do you know what? I can't win. You know because if I slit, if I if I slit them, I get hammered. Right? I get absolutely mullered. Then yeah, and I guess say, look, he's, he's a Newcastle player. Support the kid. And now I see he's going to score two goals. I get hammered that way as well. I can't bloody win sometimes. No. But here, that's the way it is. Football is a funny old game, you know. Um, right, that is it for tonight, guys. That is the preview. Let's just hope that we do actually win the game on Sunday. It'll be very interesting um, to see. Shows that are coming up on Sunday at 4 o'clock. We have the live watch-along, full commentary of the game from myself. So if you're watching it on Sky TV, 
turn Martin Taylor off, silence him, and listen to the commentary and watch the game live. Um, and uh, we'll have a good laugh on there. And then at 8 o'clock on Sunday night, it is me and Alex, as Danielle has an early, early start on Monday uh, for the match review, where we will pick the bones out of the game and uh, see where we went right or see where we went wrong. Look at the start and line up and substitutions, etc., etc. So that should be a very good show, 8 p.m. on Sunday as well. So a busy day on Sunday for the channel. Um, but we will be obviously, I will be bringing a couple of videos out, I think, before then. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, do hit the thumbs up button if you have enjoyed tonight's show. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. We seem to just just stepping very slowly towards 10k um so please help us do that pass it on to your friends and family who are interested in newcastle united content you get the very best on here uh so please do go and do that and uh, you can become a member of the tune review by hitting the join button just underneath the video and uh it's in the description as well if you click on the link uh you can always tell we're at the end of the show when i start going through the spiel because we'll lose some viewers <laughs> it's like oh i'm not listening to the credits sod that i'm away <laughs> Um, thank you to everybody that has super chatted tonight. Very, very kind of you. Thank you to all the comments and thank you to everybody for watching, of course. Uh, to Danielle and Alex, thank you for joining me on the show and the mods backstage. Thank you again for your fantastic work. And of course, to the sponsors, Jordy Riffs, premium guitar lessons for beginners and children based here in the Northeast, guitar repairs and servicing, which they're offering 10% off your first one of each. Uh, your first guitar lesson completely free of charge if you mention the tune review. And uh, also, you can you have their own recording studio uh, if you fancy giving your guitar a twang. Uh, you can find them at uh, jordyriffs.co.uk on Tinternet, Jordy Riffs on Instagram, and Jordy Riffs official on Fias Book. So there you have it. We are done for tonight. Uh, have a great weekend, guys. And uh, you know, let's hope that Sunday brings us some fantastic football and another three points. Uh, but until then, have a great weekend. Keep smiling. Be kind. Take care.